How does that work? It's like firing a machine gun. Okay, here, hold on. Real, real quick, real quick demonstration of sustained fire. You say you got a wound first, so you roll. I hit. Okay. I set. I but you got to declare you're doing it before you roll. Sustained fire ahead of time. Then you roll. Depending on what the weapon says, it might say it's two dice. It might say it's one dice. Or three. There's two hits. There's two four hits. hits. That's, that'd been four hits. Bop, 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 bop. Four, within a four-inch radius that you can determine who you hit. Well, what's the downside? So, if you get, if you get, yeah, if you get rolls. this, he's got two chances to jam. The, gun, the only, the only thing that it, uh, I think might unaffect that is like mine, the armor. I'd get a six roll because it reminds us it by one. No roll would give me a six, a chance for a six to unjam. No, that's automatic. There is no roll. But I'm saying automatic with the. With the uh, armor, armor it says even automatic. It said even automatic jams or explosions. Yep. Armor. Uh, to any and all. Yep. So, including explosions, it says. Roll one is a failure. Always a failure. So it make, gives me a nothing. It turns it into a six. I thought it said an explosion. Uh, to any and all ammo rolls. Okay, I thought it said even to explosions. Regain my including armor. a roll to determine if a weapon explodes. explodes. So that's a whole other Right, but I'm just saying that's even versus weapon explosions. <laughs> Regain my honor and my revenge on Yeah, and you his get leader. you get your new properties. He doesn't. Wow. Yes. Cool, man. So let's People let's do wrap up and pack yeah, keep the loot on your men for now. Because you do loser first, then winner. So we'll do Dale first. Dale had one loot, didn't you? No. I no loot? On this turn. Oh, wow. I didn't, yeah. to, I didn't get to move. I didn't right. get to do anything. Right, right. You got two loot. So we'll do Dale's first. Oh, it's wrap up and pack up, guys. Damn, guys. Three times in one day, Handyman has been right versus Dale. And he's pissed that I'm rubbing it in his face. <laughs> but he always questions. I got the Okay, guys, this is the end of wrap up and pack up here. We've done all the experience up here. Again, this is the second week of the Necromunda campaign. Uh, the way the standings go right now, and I'll put this at the end of this battle too probably, is a bootleg Dale with one win, two losses. Handyman Jim with two wins. Tom with one win, one loss. Lexicon was here this week for the battle, and he has his first loss. So next week it's going to be me and Tom. This is Dale and Lexicon next week. The two non-people that have their starting territories versus the two people that have them. Any comments on your second week, Tom? Yeah, we went really, really well. He's really liking the game now because he took Dale out so quick. Yep. First round of combat. Dale got a hat. Well, Tom got his first turn in and made Dale run. Had to take a uh, bottle check and lost it. He yeah. took out his heavy and his leader in the first shots. So you've got your revenge, and now you revenge like the game. Revenge and my honor, and because I, you know, I hate that when a new guy comes over and the first time he plays, he loses. Because then you're like, eh, you know, that was fun, but man, I got my ass kicked. Oh, he, he, went a, he, he went up against Dale, who was an experienced player, and got him. That's got to be a boost. Oh yes. So what do you think, Lexicon? Week two, your first week, actually. It was a uh, good time. I had a good time. The, the women did a lot of hiding. We did a lot of hiding. Actually, no, oh, even yeah. that's all you had to do to get some good experience. That's so I mean, right. you got that's killer right. experience. Yeah. Just for being on the board. Yeah, games worth basically. Yeah. Uh huh. That giant killer bonus gave you an additional six for losing. Right. So each guy. Yeah. Well, I got enough money to buy some more guys and stuff, some guns, so I think I should be all right next time. That's what I charged in. Basically, when I saw you were going to hide, my whole con, okay, let's get as much loot as I can. Mm -hmm. Especially when we found out that you can carry more than one loot. I didn't know it. You can carry more than one loot, huh? Yeah. yeah. We just, I thought you could only carry one loot, too. Dale corrected me. We can carry as many loot as you can carry. And then we, we had the, the price of them wrong. Right. I don't know how that came about. We've done that. that for years. Yeah, we've done that since the first time we've played. Well, apparently we didn't read the book Good enough. well enough because we had it wrong all these years. Loot's 1D6. I had a wonderful time today. <laughs> Boy, guys, could you hear the sarcasm in that voice? I didn't even get to move. Didn't even basically get to play. Oh, well, I got to play. I got to roll a bottle test. <laughs> <laughs> and filled it. 
Yeah, yeah. But, Dale but Dale Dale is talking about maybe having a new mortal enemy. It's always me. Me and Dale always go head to head against each other. That's just a, crazy. So it, how many you need then? You need at least ten guys. Ten guys have the three. Three. Yeah, wow. but then ten, ten. then your money. Yeah, you gotta watch your money because yeah. I when I was planning this, I was I think I originally planned like six or eight Jews, but it was going to put me up so high that man, I'd have to get a ton of money just to get five or ten bucks. Oh, I see. You're over one hole. Uh -huh. If you'd have been seven to nine, you'd only got 40 bucks out of that. Whatever you want. Yeah, you got a little bit of money to spend. Yep. What's everybody setting that money-wise? I've got 90. 80, 90? I don't know. I don't have the sheet, but I think it's about 80 bucks. So I got 140, so I got the most loot. You spent the least, though. You bought all those Jews. Yeah, I well, I bought two Jews and two gangers. Right. Nice heavy addition. But see, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's some money. But all his money went into the his heavy weapon. Right. I bought three well, my three heavy last pistols, two shotguns, and then two ammos. <laughs> I, I bought I bought a lot two gangers, shit. one heavy, and rented a bounty hunter. I equipped both of the new gangers with bolt guns and the other new heavy with a heavy bolter. Or, I, yeah, heavy bolter. I was looking at that. The bolt guns, they, if they jam on you, you need a six or better yeah, to fix it. But, but with me having my fixer right now, I've got five, the fives. Five. Wow. Yeah, he's his armor. Yeah, my armor. Okay, but that's oh, yeah. That's yeah. With. yeah. Having, especially having weapons that have the six jam. Yeah. You, what you need to do is find out if you roll the two and then the jam. If you still get the yeah, I'll look that up. I think it, you just need one jam. We'll look for sustain. Ammo jam. See if you get the rest of your... If you roll a jam symbol on the sustained fire dice so that no hit is caused and the weapon has gone wrong, you must make an ammo roll to find out what happens. Now, it says no hit is caused, so... You, well, oh, there's there's ammo rolls are covered below. Two hits, and then you roll a jam. Weapons which use sustained fire are far more likely to malfunction than ordinary weapons. Multiple sustained shots. Some weapons allow you to throw not just one sustained. Yeah, you don't have to roll. Here's something good: the two sustained fire dice. That you don't have to roll gun. both. You don't have to roll both. You but, can only roll one. But you have to declare it before you roll. Oh, uh, see, you know, that's not even time. We didn't know. We just saw that here because <laughs> we're checking. Yeah. When you roll a jam, there are no hits that are inflicted with that dice. Uh -huh. With that dice, so the other dice could. Any, uh, any indicated hits on other dice are still valid and can be worked out as normal. There you go. So it is. So you, make, you still get you your hits. separate ammo roll for each, each jam roll. It's and it's a jam roll. It's not automatic, so you still get your roll. Yeah, you must make a standard ammo roll for every jam scored. So it is just a standard ammo check. It's not automatic. See, I thought it was automatic, but... Well, I, there are some things that are automatic. They, they, they do say they, I think it's the ammo grenade ammo. launcher is automatic. Which would give me a six roll. Here's another one. And this is something that I. This is one of the things I wanted to say, but I forgot. Out of range. If you shoot and your target is out of range, then you still must make a hit roll to see whether an ammo roll is required. Ah. And measure it's out of range. You still got a roll to hit. See if you get the one. You said you were gonna fire. Yeah. Wait a minute. We really haven't pressed it with these guys yet because they're still new and learning. But you are supposed to shoot at the closest guy. Yeah. Unless the second guy you want to shoot is an easier shot. Oh, yeah, those old rules. Yeah. But you're supposed to fire at the closest guy. Unless the secondary target's an easier well, to hit. Usually well, that's common. And you would have wasted all those sustained dice on that one guy. Technically. Technically, yes. But like I said, they were still new. I didn't want to... You know, I didn't even think about it either to, to see if it would. I thought about it, but I didn't want to throw it just like in the 90 degree arc. So I mentioned it a little bit this time around, but I didn't press it on him. Instead of going from heavy to heavy or leader to Yeah, because you're supposed to shoot at the closest target and less the farther target's an easier shot. So, or if they're both sitting side by side, you can right, you take your pick. Well, I did a sustained fire, which had both of them. Mm -hmm. Actually, you, you shot towards the leader first. That was closest guy, but it was depending on if this right. the other ganger was closer. Mm -hmm. But still, not bad for the second week. Not bad for the second week. Well, so you need to state when you're going to start that. 
All right, you are. I'm going to go. Well, Lexicon's walking out the door. He's out. I will pick up. I'm going to watch my movie. Well, oh, what'd you get? I think the other guy was close. Uh, I see now. I'm going to start setting my... Oh, I heard that was good. Yeah, the it's alien movie. Different. It's supposed to be pretty good. Yeah. So we'll see how it is. So that yeah, when I look at the video, I'll look and see... Before I already shoot that first. See if the guys There's were closer. There's a lot of rules that All get right, left off. I'll forgotten. see you. Bye-bye. Because Remembered you don't... Remembered later on. Nice meeting you, man. You don't run into the situation every single game. That's why next week when we do it... Shoot you want. We'll definitely make sure we play nice it. Nice if you can, but. Pay attention to the two inch rule.